So you put a plan together to make money in your restaurant and it's not happening the way you expected. And honestly, you get to the end of the year, look back at your tax return and so crap, where did it go? How would you like to know how to take your budget to the next level that that doesn't happen ever again? I'm gonna show you right now. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and often you've seen my past videos. I talk about the importance of budgeting, taking your management team from being a reactive management team to a proactive management team, planning for profitability. So you put together your budget. What do most people do with it? They let it collect dust. They never look at it again. Instead, we've got to look at it every single month. When we get that profit and loss statement, we compare it to what we actually did and we find out where it changed. What if my sales were lower? Well, that's not so important when it comes to your bottom line because what we really want to pay attention to is what if I, my food cost, my poor cost was too high and I lost $1,000? What if my labor cost, I was bleeding in the kitchen, had overtime, I just can't get my chef to reduce the hours in the kitchen and I lost $2,500 in the month of January alone? But I did a real good job. I eliminated a lease expense. I controlled some of my postage and, and advertising and so on. And I made $1,000 to the good on the bottom line. Well, minus 1000 minus 2500 plus 1000 Overall, my business lost $2,500 this month, the month of January. Now, do I accept that and go, crap, I lost 2500 bucks? Because if I do that 12 months in a row, how much money is that? That is real pain. Instead, I look at that and I analyze what's happening in my business. What systems are we not using? What systems do I need to put in place? What changes do I need to make? Because then I come back every single month and I say, you know what? I'm going to lower my food cost by a half a percent so the rest of the year I can make up that thousand dollars. I'm going to look at labor costs and maybe I've got to make a one point change in my kitchen alone going forward. This way, I can make small changes in my business over the next 11 months without giving up guest satisfaction, without screwing up ticket times, style, service, or cost of goods sold, product quality. I can do all these things I plan. I make small changes so I make the money I deserve without giving up guest satisfaction. I can't do this if I'm not measuring my budget against my actual. You need to do this minimum on a monthly basis. If you want to learn more about this, ask me some questions in the comments section. I'll be happy to share my wisdom. But if you really want to take off and make more money in your business, know how to use this and more, opt in on this page and I want to give you my free special report, the 10 lessons I've learned that any restaurant must know if they have any chance of making money. Opt in right now. And be sure to check back on my channel when I talk about my next video using a descending dollar report that you can reduce your food costs by three to five points virtually overnight. I understand that your food costs are out of control. Prices go up all the time, right? There's locusts. You have your MA come in and go, hey, there were locusts. What do I mean by that? If